Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I am breaking down that iconic, iconic trailer reveal, release date reveal for Death Stranding. Damn, it was everything. We saw some epic moments, beautiful uh, character models, and some callbacks to the movies. Uh, we know that Kojima loves the movies. He's a total cinephile, and he put some nods in there to some movies you might have heard about. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to break down this trailer frame by frame. And the first thing I want to say is the way that Kojima revealed this trailer with starting the live stream the night before was brilliant. And it felt like one of those iconic moments that just increased the hype to a frenzied level. I was watching and waiting too. And by the time they revealed the trailer, there was over 108,000 people on the stream. It was incredible. What a moment to be there live while it was happening. It was everything and I was so into it. Okay, so let's dig in because we got a lot to talk about. First, we open with the infamous baby and this time we travel back through the baby and to a previous memory where we assume the baby is in its incubator and it's blinking because we're seeing it from the baby's point of view. We see this blinking throughout the trailer as if the baby's watching it all and we're seeing this uh, vision through baby's eyes. I'm gonna call the baby just baby from now on since we don't know <laughs> baby who, what, where, what name it is. So we're just gonna go with baby. So we're seeing this entire vision through baby's eyes and we see a younger Mads and he's got some sort of scarring on the right side of his face. He is talking to the baby as if a uh, baby can understand uh, and he's telling baby it's gonna be okay and he starts singing. The day is ending, there's no pretending. Then we see Amelie, uh, Lindsay Wagner's character, which I'm loving her being in this game. For those of you who don't know, she played the role of the bionic woman in the 70s, and she is an all-time fave of Kojima's. We stand a legend. Now, the pic that we see here is of Norman with shorter hair in a suit with a very pregnant woman in a white dress. And it almost reminded me of, you know, like the Justice is Blind, um, statue, that kind of white dress with her hair pulled back. That's what it kind of reminded me of when I saw that. So it could be uh, her face is blurred out and I don't know if this is a wedding, um, a wedding picture because, you know, Sam is wearing a suit and Amelie is there um, and she is, I'm assuming, the president of the United States at this time. And there's an American flag in the background. I'm not sure if Sam is her son or a trusted political confidant, but they are commiserating together and she goes way back with him. Is she officiating the, officiating their wedding? Not sure. Next, there's a blink to a cut to Sam on this insane motorcycle. First of all, before we dig into the motorcycle, let's go to the movie reference immediately. This is a direct reference to The Great Escape with Steve McQueen, the movie. It even looks like the same environment. Um, he's riding off, uh, like trying to escape on a motorcycle and it even looks like the, the environment is the same and it's, it's got to be a nod to that movie. I can't imagine it not being. First of all, the motorcycle, Steve McQueen did his, you know, rode the actual motorcycle in the movie and Sam, uh, Norman uh, Reedus is a bike enthusiast. He has his own TV show about riding his motorcycle everywhere. It's called Ride with Norman Reedus. And I thought that was an insane reference. It jumped out at me. In case you didn't know, now you know. Now this isn't the only iconic movie reference we see in this trailer, but we're going to get to that. Deidre, stay on track. <laughs> so Sam is fleeing something along with the birds. Let's closely at the bike. The name says Raven on it. The name brand of the bike says Raven. And it looks like he is surrounded by ravens. His bike's wheels are also illuminated by blue lights, like the blue lights on the wrist uh, handcuffs to show the health status. Blue is healthy, orange uh, to red. His health is draining dramatically. It goes, um, and he's got packages on the back, on his back and on the back of the bike. The bird falls and dies. There is also a upside down rainbow reference in this trailer, like we've seen in the previous trailers. But we see the storm coming. So we cut to Norman in the White House. Amelie is... I'm presuming she has cancer. She's sick in the hospital bed. She's trying to convince Norman we have to join together if they are to survive. And she is connected by many strands. She is connected to the strands in her hospital bed. Brilliant. I didn't notice it at first when I first saw it, so this is why I'm breaking it down for you in case you didn't notice it either. Okay, looks like she's dying of cancer, and this is her wish for the future of the world. Sam says, America is over. Amer Sam's like, America is canceled, bitch, okay? <laughs> we see the storm coming and the birds falling out of the sky. You're the president of jack shit, he tells her. 
That shot of Norman in his sunglasses is everything. That just reminded me of the Terminator. I'll be back with the sunglasses on. It's, I don't think it's a reference, but that's what it just reminded me of. Almost every shot in this trailer is stunning and cinematic, and my brain cannot handle all the beauty that I'm seeing in this trailer. Now, when the bird drops, you see the time fall happening next to it on the ground when the when the when the grass comes up and it blooms and dies and which we've seen in other trailers and then he peels out you see the black goo exploding out from the ground chasing him at first i thought he was kicking it up when he uh with his back tire when he was spun out and peeled off but it's actually coming up from the ground it looks like it's all going down we see sam uh Next scene going down on the elevator shaft with the Bridges logo. At first I thought it was just the Bridges logo, but you can see Sam from looking from the top down. He's getting ready. He has on his bracelet and he's putting on his necklace, which we know has scientific formulas written on them. Now, let's break it down what these scientific formulas are. I'm going to put up a graphic of a Reddit post, credit to the Reddit user who posted this. And he breaks down all the necklaces, the names of them. And there's a lot to break down there, but I am not about to have a, you know, a physics class right here on this channel today. But I will point out one very important reference that one of the formulas is called the Higgs field. Higgs, like the name of Troy K Baker's character, I was blown away when I researched that and I saw his name was Higgs and the name of this theory and this was the name of this formula it had to do with this formula and here is all the physics tea in case you want to sip on that the higgs field is a field of energy that is thought to exist in every region of the universe the field is accompanied by fundamental particle known as higgs boson which is used by the field to continuously interact with other particles such as electron particles that interact with the field are given mass and in similar fashion to an object passing through a treacle or molasses will become slower as they pass through it as a, the result of a particle gaining mass from the field is the prevention of its ability to travel at the speed of light. Now, I think this has to do with the way that Higgs can, the character, Troy Baker's character, can morph in and out. He appears and reappears. It's like he just travels through. So I think this is what it has to do, why his name is Higgs. Very interesting. I love finding out all the secrety, secret scientific tea in this trailer with these characters. It is everything. Okay. So now Sam leaves the Bridges headquarters. He goes out into the world exploring. We see the different areas and terrains. Each area, one is more gorgeous than the next. I can't even stand the beauty. It's too beautiful. The music by Apocalyptica comes on. And first of all, I am a huge Apocalyptica fan. And I am living for this song, Path by Apocalyptica. It is everything. And I'm so thrilled that he put this in the trailer. He, Kojima is a fan of them, which I had no idea. And he was so happy that he was able to use the song for the trailer and it's everything it fits perfectly to this trailer if you never heard of them i suggest you get into it immediately it shows the weapon and items wheel which looks so stunning and intuitive and it looks pleasing to use i love that little click click sound i don't know i just i just love it uh it shows the ladder here and it describes um it describes it uh, we see him using the ladder. The climbing armor is selected, uh, is selected next. We see how he uses this to repel down the sides of the mountain and to release the rope. The icon comes up. Then we see Fragile. Leia Sidhu. Girl. She is being held hostage. Girl. Fragile, you in danger, girl. All right. You have got guns to your head. You, you've got the homo demons, radical terrorist group, and the entire area is decimated around them and she is being held hostage against her will. She's got, don't, she doesn't have a protective uniform on and she's being confronted by Higgs, Troy Baker's character. And then he licks her face. It's like, bitch. And because, uh, maybe because of the chiral allergy that makes her tear up and cry the tears. Maybe he's looking to see if she's been in contact with the chirality and the black goo and the, the other side that we, that they've been referring to. Maybe he's seeing if she's telling the truth while he's interrogating her. Okay, now we see Sam. He looks like he is stealthing through an area and he uses an orange force field to sneak around. His crate on his back also glows orange and then it's an orange shadow is left behind. He tries to sneak away, but he's caught by the enemies and they're coming for him with their sticks, the electric prods, and we see combat. Now, sticks and rope were the theme from day one for Kojima. 
talking about back into history. They had sticks they used for combat. Rope was used to connect. When I went to PlayStation Experience in 2016, I sat in on this conference. You can see it online. I'm sure it's everywhere. Um, and he talks about this. Um, and this was his basis. Like So this, he's been saying this since day one, since the get. This was the, the cornerstone for this game, the sticks and the strands connecting everyone. They knock a crate off Norm, uh, Sam's back. It turns like a purplish. Now we see a close-up pic of the enemy where they have the device on his back, but it's not like the bridge's device. Sam's device that he wears on his back the um, to alert him of enemies has five prongs, uh, like a hand, which is symbolic of the hands everywhere. We see the handprints everywhere. But the one, this it must be one of Higgs' dudes one of his soldiers because they have one that looks more finessed more technologically advanced and it only has three prongs so he's got the higgs gig going on and sam has got the busted bridges version of the five <laughs> okay but it doesn't matter because they retreat because of the rain and the time fall and norman is gearing up with his bridge baby and it sounds like they don't like doing this linking up with the past it's creepy but they got to do what they got to do they are plugging into the other side and it freaks them out the baby activates when he plugs it in so they don't like doing this it seems like bridges are breeding babies or using clones of babies to help connect with the other world which we've seen this baby since day one so we knew it had something very important to to do with Sam and what they're doing. Sam's device scans the area in blue and we see the BTs, that's what they're calling them. We see Sam making blue footprints where he steps. Then we see uh, orange handprints popping up, which we, I'm assuming is from the, uh, the other side, the other world. Uh, and he's being chased down by the, by the black goo and swallowed up. We have to come up with a better name than black goo because I don't know what it is. Black death juice. I don't know what we're going to call it, but <laughs> we're going to go with the black goo for now. And he's swallowed up. So when he gets swallowed up, we get dragged throughout the environment. And right now we're seeing this from the baby's perspective and we're seeing the blinking effect again. Blinking effect we see from the beginning with Mads talking to the baby and we see it throughout the trailer. And then we see a very quick movement of a dark figure floating down. And the next tagline is, those bound to Hades. Now, Hades is the god of the dead and god of the underworld, the god of the darkness. That is what we are always running from. So I'm assuming that maybe he is above Higgs. There is a character maybe we haven't met yet as Hades specifically. And there is so much religious imagery in this like um, an Egyptian mythology I should say so there's a lot of mythology symbolism like even with Higgs he's got the gold and the black which is Egyptian mythology like colors and in his cape uh, in his garment so there's a lot of mythological imagery going on in this game which I'm living for so we see more of the baby's perspective fighting a big dark monster we see it from the baby's point of view we see the device pointing in its direction then we see the undead soldiers rising from the murky waters and then Mads. He is illuminated from within, bitch. Do you see him? He is lit up from the inside. He is, he is first, first it's on, you see it on his abdomen and then his chest. Now we know from the first trailer, Sam has a cross incision scar on his abdomen from the very first reveal trailer. Um, and it looks like maybe Mads has the same scar because it like goes across on his abdomen and there's almost like a fire burning inside him and the light is poking out. He actually looks charred in this scene, like he is burnt, like his skin has been charred. Then we see a tank roll by like in the other trailer with Mads and Guillermo, I think it was E3 2017 when we saw the undead soldiers and Mads for the first time. But the soldiers run and then turn to smoke. But some look like the heads are red or on fire or burning. There's smoke coming from their heads. We see the weapon here. It's an assault rifle. Okay, so this is the first time we see Sam using a weapon, an actual gun. It's an assault rifle, and it tells us how much ammo we're using, how much is left, how much we have. But then we see Mads strung up by razor wire. And um, also, a uh, throwback to... The, um, the Great Escape with Steve McQueen, he actually gets caught up in the razor wire when he's trying to escape and he cannot escape and he gets caught. So he tries to drive through the razor wire and he's all tangled up. So that's also another nod to the movie when we see Mad strung up by the razor wire and what almost looks like a puppet pose. Like he looks like a puppet who is just waiting for someone to pull his strings, which I thought was brilliant imagery. I loved it. Live for it. And then we see the dolls, the surrounded 
they're hanging also these dolls with the nails that are in their head. What does this doll symbolize? I don't know what it represents, why we see this broken ass, tore up doll with the, with the nails in the skull and uh, one eye blinking, always one eye blinking. It's haunting and it's terrifying and I'm living for it. This is the same doll that we've seen in the trailer from 2017 when the doll floats past and goes straight to Mads. So they're connected, they're connected somehow. I'm assuming this part of the game where we see Mad strung up is the same part of the game where we see Guillermo del Toro in the trailer where he's running. Then you see Mads for the first time with his undead soldiers. So I'm assuming that this takes place in the same part of the game. Okay, then Sam gets flipped over in the reverse gravity, which we've seen a truck that flips over and one of the bridges employees tries to escape and he gets flipped over in the upside down gravity so we know that is not good news for anybody at any time so he gets flipped over then we see nicholas winding refn the character Hartman, looking like the puppet master in control of like a virtual reality at his command center very interesting i can't wait to find out more about his character then we're back to sam he rips his necklace off and then cut to sam who is now gray obviously he's in a different dimension where he turns gray. I'm not sure. This is the first time in this trailer we've seen him turn a different color. We've seen him underwater. We've seen him in uniform, out of uniform, uh, naked on the beach, but we've never seen him in another dimension. And we see him twice in a different dimension in this trailer. He's floating after what I'm assuming is another big bang. You know, when he says that first there was a bang, when he, Sam is reciting from one of the previous trailers. So I'm assuming that's why he's floating. He has got caught in the bang and now he's wearing his dream catcher, which in one of the other trailers, you see him when he goes to the bottom of the lake or the water and you see the dream catcher fly off without Sam. This time he has it on. Then we see Sam Guillermo del Toro's dead man and Die Hard Man looking over a swaddle body. This is like the swaddle body we've seen in the previous trailers where they're trying to transport it and it starts to evaporate into the ether and that's when all the BTs come down and come for everyone's throats and their necks, okay? So this is something that needs to be destroyed, so that's why they have it. Next we see Mama. Now I'm assuming she's a scientist. Obviously she's a scientist working at Bridges. She has to do with something with the bridge babies and communicating with the other side. Check this out. I had to slow this down real, real slow to get a good picture of the dark figure floating above her. It looks like she's communicating with this dark figure, which could be from the other side, which is incredible. It was huge. I almost didn't even notice it. And if I didn't break it down, I would have never realized it. And I don't know if it's mirroring her images or if she's communicating with it. She also has on the device that everyone wears on their back when they're around specters or these ghosts from the other side and um, but it doesn't look like she's in any danger the, the device isn't moving it's not you know flapping around but she's communicating with them which is mind-blowing to me how can she communicate with them she's talking with them is she like Higgs because Higgs says later that he has a connection with the other side as well I want to know more about Mama. Mama girl, I want to know all your tea. Then we see a young Amelie hugging Sam. And then we see Sam is setting the body on fire in a chamber, I'm assuming at the Bridges compound. And it says, warning, high temperatures. They have to incinerate this body. Then looking up from the bottom of the water to an opening and a strand that looks like it's attached to a specter baby. It looks like an umbilical cord. It looks like a baby in the womb. It looks like a sonogram picture. And then you see Mama and she's crushed under rocks and looks like she's crying. I don't know if she's crying because she's dying or she's hurt or something also terrible is happening, but something is going down. Maybe at Bridges headquarters, I don't know. But that strand of someone looks like they're underwater and they're attached to the, the umbilical cord, the baby, the whole thing. That was just stunning. Now, this was my one of my favorite parts that I almost missed. I had to zoom in to see what he was doing what sam was doing he is using the bridge baby recovery system insanity in the best possible way he you can recover the baby that you've lost that is insane to me like and it's called the bridge baby recovery system what do you all think about that? Can't wait to dig in and find out everything about it. Then we see Mama and Amelie in front of a tanker ship. First we see Mama, then we see Amelie in front of a tanker ship. It looks like a tanker ship to me. But then we see Hartman slipping away on the black sand or the muck while a crowd watches. Why is he slipping away? Why aren't they helping him? 
what is happening. He doesn't have his whole getup on that he has when he's in his VR setup. So I don't know if he's out in the real world and he's not in his headquarters. So I don't know. Then we're introduced to all of our Stella cast. Bravo. I love everybody. I love the names. I love the characters. I love what they look like. I love what they represent. I can't find wait to find out more about them. I'm obsessed, obsessed. Then we see Amelie crying blood. Very religious imagery here of the bloody tears. A stunning, absolutely stunning. A young Amelie crying blood, stunning. Then we see a huge monster image. It is huge. And then it looks like Higgs has captured a passed out Amelie and he's fighting off someone. So either she's passed out or he's knocked her out. And if you watch the Japanese trailer, there's an extra 17 seconds and you see, I posted it on Twitter after they released it. It looks like Amelie, a young Amelie wearing the red dress, which we see here, a split second, you don't see her, but you see the red dress, so you know it's her, that he is behind her and she has one of Higgs' masks on her face. The mask, the gold bottom half of her face is covered in the gold mask. And he is like, uh, looks like he's reaching around to her, like right before he must grab her, that maybe that's how he's like putting her under his like spell or something or knocks her out. I'm so interested in what happens to her. What does he want with her? Why is he capturing her? Now, this is fascinating. The chiral imagery says that you can't touch hands because it's a mirror image. And here it looks like a young Amelie is in quarantine and her and Sam are trying to touch hands, but they can't because they're through the glass. Now, here is a quick lesson in chorality which is based in this whole game, it's runs throughout this entire game. Chorality is a property of asymmetry, important several branch, important several branches of science. The word chorality is derived from the Greek hand, a familiar chiral object. So hands, the symbolism of hands are thrown all over this game. It's everywhere. And it says an object or a system is chiral if it is, in, if it is distinguishable from its mirror image. That is, it cannot be superposed onto it. Conversely, a mirror image of an, a chiral object, such as a sphere, cannot be distinguished from the object. That means it, it is not the exact image of the right hand. No matter how the two hands are oriented, it is impossible for the major features of both hands to coincide across all axes. Okay, so maybe this is why we can't connect. We cannot touch because of the underworld and the real world is chiral? Mirror images? I don't know. Who knows? But it seems to make sense that the underworld and the real world are trying to connect and they can't you hear Higgs saying we can't connect. Very interesting. Then Fragile and Sam come together. They touch heads. Then we see the doll has replaced the baby in the body. The doll baby is winking. What happened to the real baby? Very frightening. That was very frightening. Then Sam is struggling. He's in the other dimension. You could see from his color and he's and he kind of like is giving up. He's like, why even bother trying to fight this? He puts the gun to his head and that part really made me emotional and and Amelie said, we have to finish what we start. We can't give up hope. And that made me like literally tear up when I was watching that because this world is so screwed up. We cannot give up hope. It just really touched me so deeply. This game is going to be everything. Okay, now Higgs talks about the chorality. Hard to make connections when you can't shake hands. This is the part. I know I gave it a little backstory a minute ago. So now the next scene, Mads is coming through like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. If you didn't get that reference, go watch that movie. It is iconic. And this scene is iconic where Marlon Brando comes up out of the water like an alligator from hell. <laughs> and you see him rise up. It's from Apocalypse Now, realness, and it is everything. Then he gets up and he lights his cigarette with the air. That's some gangster shit, bitch. That is some gangster shit. Oh my God, that was everything. Then he sets the lake on fire and walks on out with his undead soldiers. He gives the hand signal, his the hand signal, and they go. I mean, that is some badass shit if I ever saw it walking through fire. It's crazy. Anyway, the release date is revealed, which was hidden all along in the title. Now, months ago, I don't even know how long ago, I did a video on this. I'll put it in the description where I said that Hideo Kojima was hiding something in plain sight right in the logo. I was sure it was something hidden in the logo because sometimes it had the connections, the strands were in the logo and sometimes they weren't. That's the realty. But when I thought it was the letters meant something, the letters would connect and make a word or a statement or something. But I was wrong on that part. But this, there was a hidden, there was a secret hiding in plain sight. It was the date. There were eleven letters connected by eight strands. Eleven eight, November eighth. That's when the game comes out. Fucking brilliant. I mean, genius. 
this this is just, I live for that kind of Easter egg. I, lo I live for that. So it was connected, but it wasn't with words and letters. It was with numbers. Okay, then we see Amelie in a storm, someone from Bridges in the hazmat suit reaching for help. She looks back and walks away. Why does she walk away? I'm assuming it's Sam she's walking away from because the next shot is Sam drowning in the black water. Was it him she walked away from? I think so, but we don't know for sure, but I'm assuming. Then we're back in the lab with Mads and the baby. He's talking to the baby, saying maybe you will see the world, maybe even the moon. Maybe you will even see the moon. So now when I heard that, I was like, the Kojima Productions video, the announcement video, shows Ludens on the moon with the whale and everything like that. So I was like, oh, that is direct reference to the game. There's, Are we going to the moon? I don't know, but Kojima is already there. He's been there and back already, and then he came back and made this game. Holy crap, it is everything. Now, it's all connected. No pun intended, actually, you know, but Ludens, the moon, the whale, everything's connected through the game, the logo, everything. So, guys, that is it. I'm trying to make this fast and furious because there's so much information to go through. What did you think of the trailer? What did I miss? Let me know your thoughts. I haven't watched anyone's breakdown of this. I literally did went through this trailer frame by motherfucking frame and I broke it down for all y'all. I'm sure I missed plenty, but I tried my best to get everything I could in the short time that I had. Okay, guys. So if you like this video and this channel, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, thank you so much. And thanks for all the love and support on my reaction video. You guys are so awesome. So welcome to the channel. Thank you for your support. And if you like this video and this channel, please leave me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Subscribe and get all the tea from me. And I'm going to give you all the dead strands and news you can handle. <laughs> and if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. Help this girl out. The struggle is real. But uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll be back with more.